The problem with people who love everything purple is that one thing. That one thing that I find fairly annoying and you will understand why. They have to make everything about that color, their personality. They have to always wear purple. They have to have everything around them purple. Sometimes they even dye their hair purple. Purple is now their personality and I am one of them. So when I found out that the brand Monos did a collaboration with the infamous New York bakery, Magnolia Bakery, that was made popular in the TV show Sex and the City, and that that collection was a completely purple suitcases and bags, I had to get it. Of course, it was pricey. So pricey that I had to wait for months to get it. But eventually, I got my carry-on and an other item as well that you see. And look how beautiful it is. I am not someone that really cares about material possessions, but this is such a beautiful carry-on. Like, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I am somewhat of a weird geek i am a train geek for example and i'm also weird enough a luggage geek i stare at people's luggages when they're really pretty i go approach them and compliment them on their suitcases because i travel so much for pleasure and work i'm always on the go and somehow because i'm also vain it is important for me to have uh, a pretty suitcase and not just the hand me down that my family gave me 20 years ago which well I still have you know so that's what the uh, monos unboxing carry-on looks like um, tiny although it is bigger than uh, the European standards so um, it's tiny by American standards um, American airline standards but big by uh, European um, airline standards you will have to pay extra if you um, fly with low cost I also got the matching bag because I I really wanted to be out there I really wanted to be uh, that person I guess so I was on the fence between the um, backpack and the um, weekend kind of like bag I picked the weekend bag because I already got backpacks and I felt like the backpack made me look like I am in sixth grade again going to school nothing wrong with that of course but it's not necessarily my style I already got backpacks so that is um, the bag so the bag is fake leather everything is fake leather which is great I'm not vegan but I'm a vegetarian so I try to avoid leather when I can so um, this is me removing all the stuff that were inside the bag so the bag is really really big like when you wear it people will bump into you which they do anywhere when you're black but still and you will take loads of space I knew that the downside of the bag was that it takes so much space that eventually it can be hurtful on your shoulder and it really has a weight and that is the little pouch the um, metro pouch that is really really helpful that you can remove and put back on the bag and you can put everything that you need at hand your passport your keys your snacks as you know i love snacks and that's what what the bag looks like without the uh, folio um, pouch so the bag has um basically has a sleeve that you can um, add onto the, the carry-on which is really really helpful because usually I got one of these the thing that that attendant use you know to um, strap your to strap your um, bag onto your suitcase and that's helpful but sometimes it doesn't always work where well, with the sleeve you can just pull it and take it out of the um, of the bag out of the suitcase very easily especially if you're in a hurry at the airport so that's a matching set really gorgeous I also got the um, plastic case to protect the suitcase because I know it won't stay pretty that much and that long I know it will be prone to um, scratches and stains and I will clean the suitcase on a regular basis 
Some people say it is disrespectful to have a birthday in January because of how cold it is in the Northern Hemisphere. I beg to disagree. I feel like we should embrace winter and make the best of it. I've always wanted to go on a ski trip, so I've decided to go to Sweden with my sibling to try skiing. So that is me packing for the cold weather. I brought three sweaters, my warmest ones. I also bought um, my Jussie Couture pants and another sweater for my pajamas. I bought face ties um, as well to keep me warm and also as an extra kind of bottom layer. And I got my merino wool um, as well. Um, layers very helpful. I also got my sweatpants and some fake leather jeans and another um, sweatpants joggers. Um, they are really warm and it's gonna be helpful because I was expecting uh, the temperatures to be around minus 10. I've also got some new uh, merino wool um, socks as well as my old pair of merino wool socks. I've also got a pair of um, normal cotton socks in case it's not that cold or in case I need two pair of socks really really want to be warm and I'm really relying on my merino wool base layer um, as well to keep me warm but I know that in terms of a drip I will look like a penguin which is fine I mean uh, my belief is that when it's cold the drip is not necessarily there so you know that's what's up you can't always be like super stylish but also when it's super warm really really hot like 40 degrees and more the drip is also not there because it is too much of a temperature that's my personal belief of course so this is my electronic pouch with my adapter um, just some wipes to clean things and a couple of um, cables the electronic pouch is really uh, helpful for smaller trips and even longer ones when I don't want to bring my big um, electronic pouch anyway and um, that's the um, my earphones as well and I will also bring my um, headphones because my headphones keep me warm so that's really helpful so these are my pens um, I intend to write a lot this is a book um, I teach you about Black Witch of Salem by Marie Condé this is one of my notebooks hopefully I will have a time to write this is my birthday journal I know I will um, write down a couple of things and these are my uh, medicine pouch and my um, pills kind of like um, case and I'm pulling my uh, magnesium fluorinate in it it's so helpful like I have been able to get somewhat of a decency thanks to that once again nothing in this video is sponsored but I, I love this As usual, I also have my lactrays and Fervex in case I get um, a cold. I'm not expecting food to be amazing in Sweden, but I know that there will be dairy and I'm still lactose intolerant. I'm only bringing my carry-on and my bag on that trip to Sweden. No um, check luggage because it's a short trip. So these are all my liquids, so aloe vera gel, um, I'm bringing some moisturizer, some shea butter because it's going to be cold and I need it. It's um, some shampoo as well and conditioner in case I need it uh, for my hair. That's my um, solid deodorant, um, that's um, my uh, Dr. Jot um, mask, um, my toothbrush, my trusted water bottle. Look how pretty that bag is. Oh my god, I love that bag so much. I could literally just like look at it and be happy. So this is what I'm going to put in the folio kit. Uh, my passport, my hand cream, hopefully I won't forget to use it. 
Um, I'm also going to put my keys from um, my flat as well as my book. And this is me putting my second um, toiletry case and everything else in the bag. And it's time to pack the carry-on. So, when you open it, inside it is of course just as pretty. You have uh, inside that um, heart that helps you kind of like squeeze and compress your stuff so that it takes less space inside the suitcase. And you also have an eraser that helps with uh, the stains. So I'm bringing my Doc Martens and my um, Hoka shoes. I need two pair of shoes, but they are really good. So this is me um, trying to get everything in the suitcase. I'm going to try a mix of packing cubes and also uh, just rolling my stuff. The reason why I'm doing both is because my packing cubes were of poor quality. So actually a couple of them broke. Um, this is why you shouldn't be poor and you should try to get the uh, best quality when you can. And my travel tip is really to try to compress your bulky items as much as you can and to also wear those of merino wool layers and different layers to keep yourself warm and you know um, not well try to find a middle ground between being pretty and being warm packed and ready to fly to Sweden I'm really really looking forward to it Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more writing and for making related videos. If you want to support my small business and my work, look at my website as well as my books available on most stores. Thanks for today. Goodbye.